This right here is a Surface Laptop 2 and it has a 45 watt hour battery that gets you about nine hours of battery life. And here's the XPS 15 and with its 87 watt hour battery, you get a whopping nine hours of battery life because it is a lot more powerful. Like there's, there's just way more happening in this computer. But what would happen if you took, you know, the CPU class of this guy right here and added it together with the battery of this one here. Well, that's what we have here today. This here is the Dell Latitude 9410 and they claim that it has 27 hours of battery life. So I guess Andy, do we just open it up now? Heck yeah. Wrong, because we have a sponsor. PDF Element Pro is an all-in-one smart PDF editor that offers the easiest way to create, edit, convert, annotate, and sign PDF documents on Windows and Mac. You can transform any PDF to and from Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint without losing your formatting. You can easily collect analysis-ready data from your clients by fillable PDF forms from paper or existing electronic files, and add certified digital signatures to help recipients validate document authenticity and integrity. So click the link in the description to get 50% off PDF Element Pro. Here we go. Yep, that's a pen. Dell's pens are pretty good in my experience, but not fantastic. This one I imagine is about the same. What's up next? Power cord and charger. Okay, so the charger's 90 watts, which is more than you'd expect for a laptop of this size, but it's probably so that they can, you know, charge up the large battery in a reasonable amount of time. So we're gonna want this thing to be nice and ready for the laptop the second that we get it out of the package because we're gonna be running a battery test on it, of course. Like, you know, the main selling point is the battery. So we wanna make sure that the battery is fully charged as soon as possible. Okay, what do we have here? Connection and use of this communications equipment is permitted by the Nigerian Communications Commission. Sure. All right. <laughs> and uh, the reveal. Oh, no, I, I turned it a tiny bit, but it's fine. <laughs> First impressions, nice and, you know, metal around here. One of the features on the spec sheet is bottom cover, and we certainly have that. <laughs> very solid IO. We have these very nice aluminum edges all the way around here. And what looks like two Thunderbolt ports, full-size HDMI, full-size USB type A, and then around on the other side, you have, oh, it's a micro SD card reader. I much prefer the full size ones. And then headphone combo jack and another USB type A. So now compared to something like the Dell XPS 13, it's getting a lot more ports, but you know, you're also getting a fair bit more laptop here. <laughs> Let's take a look. One handed open. Oh, no problem. That is a, oh, come on, come on. A very smooth hinge there. Just a very nice feeling chassis. It doesn't quite have, you know, the premium look that you might get on say the XPS 13, but at the same time, it's a business laptop, so you kind of expect that. Almost zero deck flex here. This is, I believe, all aluminum. Same thing, the panel, excellent feeling. The whole thing is surprisingly light, given that it is like a bit of a chonker. And the display is touch. Is that full brightness? No, okay, good. I was afraid that the brightness was going to be very low, but it's actually pretty decent. It's a one watt 1080p touch panel. So like, you're not going to get the most eye searing, amazing visuals that you've ever seen. But at the same time, 27 hours battery life, apparently. This is actually like, despite not being very big, quite a nice little touchpad. It has a very good, just feel and a nice little click to it. As for the keyboard, I have kind of high hopes for this because you know, it's it's a business machine. Although then again, looking at it, the light piping kind of balls. I wonder if that's intentional. G and H are just way brighter than everything around it. Looks like M's also pretty bright and W. I'm not totally sure how I feel about this keyboard. So it kind of depends on if you're kind of an old person that like just really likes, you know, bopping on the keys. This is going to be pretty great. They're They're pretty firm and they have loads of travel. And I imagine that with a bit of, you know, playing with it, I could get up to almost full speed. The stabilization isn't the best and it's not totally consistent. Like if I push on the side, it deflects a bit, but H is just way softer and deflects more. That's the kind of inconsistency that will 
make it really hard to get up to full speed on a keyboard. So specs, for the processor we get an Intel i7 10610U, so that goes up to 4.9 gigahertz. It's only four cores, but at the same time, that's pretty friggin' snappy for this type of a machine. 16 gigabytes of RAM, uh, it's a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD, so it's pretty fast, but given the price of this thing, you'd be expecting a tiny bit more, but that's kind of the business premium. Like, you're getting the vPro processor, you're getting a bunch of extra security features and so on. Like, this is the kind of machine where you're paying for, instead of like a nice carbon fiber deck tray like you might on the Dell XPS, you're paying for like, if it stops working, Dell will send someone to fix it the next day, like that kind of a thing. So the value proposition's a bit different than for like regular consumers. Clarity at first is actually really good. But I'm guessing the bass drop's gonna be nothing. Never mind, that's actually surprisingly good for you know what it is. Okay. So the Surface Laptop 2, which is these days a fine laptop speaker setup, like HP and Dell have since passed it. It was pretty good at the time. It's better than this guy here. So not amazing speakers, but at the same time, you know, you've only been using laptops from a couple of years ago. This is gonna like blow your mind probably. <laughs> oh, one other thing. I do normally complain about 16 by 10 displays and when they aren't on laptops. But I think that we need to give Dell a bit of a pass in this situation here, just because it's the one watt super low power panel. And I'm guessing that that just doesn't exist as a 16 by 10 right now. So we'll, we'll give them a pass for this generation. Hopefully in the next one, they're able to get the one watt, you know, full size one be sick. One thing that is nice though, is that although it's charging and running Windows update at the same time, the bottom of this is really nice and cool. Like on lots of stuff like the XPS 15 is particularly bad for this. Like if you're charging it, you do not want this thing on your lap. Here we go. Okay, yep, that's a, <laughs> it's basically all battery. Oh, this is, I think that's magnesium, that's fun. Getting back to this is a $3,000 system. It starts at 1800, but not cheap. So you get one M.2 SSD. It looks like there's a spot for another one, but no room for it. Cooling system here, and there's a bunch of shielding there. And also on this side, which is probably helping a lot with the hotness that I was talking about before. One little fan, which is probably more than enough. And this massive battery. So you might be thinking like, this is 78 watt hours. And the LG Gram is what, like 75, 74, something like that. Why is this right here getting quoted for 27 hours of battery life? when the LG is what, like 17, 20, something like that. So it's kind of like everything working together in here. So you have this massive battery for a laptop like this. You have the super low power four core CPU. You also have that one watt panel that's just you know, not creating a lot of photons and sucking up the battery. Sort of all of that together is what gives you that massive battery amount. The edge here is all diamond cut, which just looks so sick. I like to simulate it as say like, it's a student that arrives at the library and knows that they're going to be there for a really long time and is trying to maximize the amount of battery life that they can get without compromising too much. So we're gonna turn off like keyboard backlight, the display goes to 150 nits, and then we just leave it. Oh, and full battery saver mode. It's not the most scientific, but two up from the bottom is pretty much 150 nits. About three up from the bottom on this laptop. So there we go. Cool, we're good. We'll pick this up tomorrow, whenever this is finished. So it's now been about 23 and a half hours. So it must be dead, right? No. <laughs> How? According to this, there's still an hour and a half of battery life left, which means that you get legitimately 25 hours of battery life out of this thing. Like, what the heck? I'm actually very surprised because I'm just so used to companies kind of lying. Well, no, not lying. Greatly exaggerating 
their battery life claims. Whereas this one right here, like, if you treated it just a tiny bit nicer, you could legitimately have 27 hours of battery life out of this thing. Like, holy crap. So, do I think you should buy it for $3,000? No, of course not. Get your employer to buy it for you. Like, it's a business laptop. That's what you do with these things. Like, so yeah, there it is. The Dell Latitude 9410. Um, pretty good overall as a laptop. I would say generally impressed. Battery life, mind blowing. Best I've ever seen. So yeah, for more stuff like this, get subscribed. Uh, go over to LTT. I'm currently working on a really cool video for, actually, I guess that'll already be up before this goes out. Whatever, whatever. Anyway, get subscribed to both of them. Have a great day. <laughs>